Hey there, teachers. There's been a really positive response to my digital rubrics. People really like them because you just click and you don't have to actually go in and highlight everything. So it saves you a lot of time. But I've been getting some questions about how do you edit them. So today's video is going to show you just that. So here's the presentational speaking rubric I already made for you. The cool thing about this is if I click on the boxes on the side here, it's auto calculating my score the raw total and the percentage. So let's say I took off one point here, it's worth 95 points. People are asking me, how do I edit the point values? Say I wanna change the names of these categories at the top and I want this out of 10 points and this to be out of nine points and this eight. No problem except there are formulas in these boxes that we have to change. So we're gonna highlight this row of 10, go to data, data validation, and we're gonna say if the box gets checked, it's worth 10 points and hit save. We have to do this for each box. So we'll change this one to be worth nine points. And this one to be worth eight. Now over here, we need to change how the percentage is being calculated. So originally, the most you could get on this assignment was 20 points, but now the most you can get is 40 points. So I'm gonna double click on this percent box and I need to change this number here to divide by 40. And so now I got 39 out of 40 or 97.5%. If we're going to add in columns, we can do that too. You'll wanna to right click over here and if we want to keep the formatting the same, we can just copy this over and change this to seven. And then we have to go in and change these to be out of seven points. But now we have to mess with the total here. As it stands right now, I'm calculating the sum of these three columns. Since I added in a column, I have to now add in another sum. And the way I do that is I'm going to add a comma here. And this is cell F three to six. So I type in F three colon F six. And now it's also calculating this here. So now if I check it, it's going to add in all my points. I hope you find that helpful and it saves you a lot of time during virtual learning with grading. In the description, there's a link to the template so you can just use mine, but now you know how to edit them if you want to make them your own. And if you have any questions or need any help with anything, please reach out to me via email at SpanishWithStephanieS at gmail.com. Happy teaching.